welcome back to my youtube channel so if you are new here please subscribe to my youtube channel so guys today i'm reacting to dangerous spelling mistake wow so guys please let's go right into this video should we spell the honored word allah with one or two a's like this is it haram to spell insha'Allah as one word or do we have to separate them? Do we write amin like this or like that? Well, to get a correct and objective answer to these questions, let's take a step back and understand what these words actually are. At the end of this video, I'll share an extremely useful tip to always get these words right effortlessly. So watch till the end to get the full benefit. So, what about these words? Well, the way of writing words like this is called transliteration, which means transforming the sounds of the words from the source language where you're taking the word from to the target language by using different letters or symbols that make similar sounds. So, if I want to transliterate the word ni in Arabic, I'll write it like this. Notice that I ignored the silent K at the beginning of the word since I only transformed the sound to let you know which word I mean. So when it is the other way around and we are transforming phrases that are originally in Arabic, we only write what they sound like to make it easier to write and understand. This means that it does not matter how you spell it in English as long as the letters you choose to transliterate the Arabic words can guide the reader to understand which word you wanted to say in Arabic. And so, this means, if I write Allah with one A, anyone who sees it will know that I want to say Allah. And if I write Allah with two A's, people who read it will also know that I'm talking about the honored word. And if you write Barakallahu Feek, like this, people will read it, Barakallahu feek silently in their head. No one will see this and go, Hmm, Barakallahu feek. No one will think that, because you saw the sequence of letters and you realized what they wanted to say, so you read it and understood it as it should be. But in the case of Insha'Allah, doesn't insha as one word mean creation of, so we can't write it as one word? Well, no, the same rule still applies, since transliteration means transforming the sound of words or phrases. We are not actually writing in Arabic. In Arabic, it is indeed three separate words. But notice how we say it, Allah, and that's what matters, and this is what is being transformed. So if you choose to transliterate it as one phrase or one chunk, since this is how it is being said, that's fine. And if you choose to transliterate it as three separate words, that is also fine. I personally write it as three words, because I'm used to writing it like this, and I do it automatically. Not because it is haram to write it as one word. That's why the outcome of transliteration will change depending on what the target language is. So, for example, in Dutch, the sh sound is spelled like this. And so, if someone transliterates this phrase in Dutch, they would spell it like this, so that they can understand what is being said. But what if you wrote it in Arabic as one word? Would that be a grave mistake? Well, when you write in Arabic, you are expected to follow the correct rules of spelling. This, in fact, applies to any language, not just Arabic. So, if I were to translate Alhamdulillah into English, I would write with the grace of Allah and spell it like this, not like that. This is just simply wrong English, even if I'm producing the same sounds. That is because this is an English statement. So, basically, the same applies on Arabic. And so, we should try to get them right when we write them in Arabic. But if someone was to write Insha'Allah like this, would this be considered blasphemy or kufr? Well, writing the phrases like this is indeed a mistake and should be corrected. But is it kufr? Definitely not. Unless the person writing it means or intends something else. 
but that is something that could be easily seen from the context of what they're saying. The word insha does mean creation of. It is the masdar of ansha'a. Ansha'a insha. But even though it is a mistake and it should be corrected, it is not mandatory or wajib to correct others on it. And it doesn't make the person saying it kafir or something like that. Simply because it is a simple, honest mistake with no malicious intentions. Still, that doesn't mean to be careless, but to try within the limits of your ability. So, does that mean that we can write, insha'Allah, the transliteration, like this, I-S-A, and the reader then would understand what I mean, right? Or, assalamu alaikum as A-S-A, and treat other phrases in the same way. Can we do that just to save time? And in this case, the answer would be no. If you didn't spell out the word or phrase, you didn't actually say it. Of course, no one is saying that writing ASA for Assalamu Alaikum is a sin or something. No, that's not what I'm saying. But if you are after the reward of saying Assalam, you have to write it or spell it in whichever way you like, as we explained. Especially if it has to do with peace be upon him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We are required to type it or spell it out completely to have said the salah for which you can get rewarded insha'Allah. The same goes for insha'Allah or thanking someone by saying J-Z-K. So actually spell out the word and say Jazakumullahu khayran to actually thank someone as instructed by the Prophet peace be upon him. But if I want to do it fast, but also properly, is there a way to do this? Well, yes. Let's go to the computer screen to see how you can properly do that very fast. First, type out the words you usually use in your speech or written discourse. Like, insha'Allah, alhamdulillah, these phrases. If you prefer to use a transliteration to avoid editing problems when writing two languages, that is no problem. After that, select each phrase and then copy it. One after the other. You can quickly do that by pressing Ctrl C. Remember, copy one phrase at a time, not all of them at the same time. After that, press Windows key V, which will show you this little window with everything that you had copied. Now you can pin the ones you use regularly. And that's it. They are now saved. And every time you want to type these phrases fast without abbreviation, just press the Windows key plus V and click on the phrase you want to spell it out. And this is an easy and a quick way to type common phrases quickly and properly. So next time you want to say Alhamdulillah or Assalamu Alaikum, you can transliterate it according to your language as long as the reader can understand what you mean. If you want to use the Arabic version, make sure you do it right to avoid mistakes, insha'Allah. Thanks for watching. If you want to start reading and understanding the Quran in Arabic, then you should start your journey right here. And don't forget to check out my latest book, which goes perfectly with this free course. I'll leave the links for all of them in the description, so check them out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. And I'll see you next time. Wow. Amazing. So nice. And I'm so happy to react to this wonderful video like this. A lot of mistakes that many people make during reading um, the Quran and during spelling some words, like you spelling um, um, the Quran as um the you spelling arabic putting two a instead of one like all those mistakes sometimes is is you have to take lesson take um you have to be mindful of how you read and spell your your book your quran so guys um this teaching is so so lovely and i advise everyone should follow him up and able to learn more and more about the mistake we all make in reading our quran or spelling our our um um arabic words you understand so guys please 
comment below on our comment section on any video you want us to react to comment below and also subscribe to our youtube channel visit our youtube channel and get fashion store fashion makes sense